What is going on everybody? Tech Enthusiast here and in this video I'm going to show you how to play PS Vita games on your Android device. So in this guide you will see the installation process with recommended settings and how to install games. Now with that being said, let's get started. So firstly we want to be at the Vita 3K website. I will leave a link in the description. Then we're going to scroll down to the download section and then tap on Android Nightly's GitHub link. Now at the time of making this video, release 9 is the latest version. So here you can see some of the change log. And we're just going to scroll down and then under assets we can see the APK which was uploaded three weeks ago. Just tap on it and download. So this shouldn't take too long, it's quite a small file. So once that is finished we're going to tap on open install then open and here we need to select a language i'm going to go with english uk then tap on next and now we need to basically install the firmware so the good thing is we can do all of that within the android device so we're just going to tap on download firmware and it's going to take us to the playstation website so we're going to scroll down and then once here tap on download update if it doesn't do anything long press until you get this little menu then find download link and then tap on it if you get this message select keep it is safe as it is coming from the official sony website now this may take a good few minutes depending on your download speed once that has finished we're going to go back to download the font package so we're going to tap on that and it may download automatically once that has finished we're going to tap on close or back then go back into the emulator and then select install firmware file i'm going to select the system update first which is the bigger one Once that has finished, it is prompting that we need the font package. I'm going to tap on OK, then install firmware file again, and then select the smaller one. Once that is done, tap on OK, and as you can see next to install, we got V, which means it is uh, correct. Tap on Next, Next again, then OK. Now we've got this uh, welcome message and we can tap on this to not show again. Now before we close there is a link for the compatibility list. I'm going to tap on that and here basically we can see all of the games that are playable, that only go to the menu, bootable etc. So you may want to check this before you know you get your game because it may not work. Anyway, we're going to go back and then close. Now we need to create a user tab. Here you can select any name. I'm just going to leave it as user1. Then tap on confirm, then OK. Here, you know, you can add uh, additional users or delete a user. And I'm just going to select on automatic login. Once here, you know, we get a little uh, screen saver, just tap on the screen now we are in the main menu so the first thing i'm going to do is go to configuration settings and i'm going to leave core and cpu alone and go to gpu now for the backend renderer vulcan is default you also have the option for uh, OpenGL, but i'm going to leave it on vulcan and then if you want to add a uh, custom driver basically if you've got a snapdragon uh, device you can use you know turnip drivers just select on add custom driver locate the file and you might need to reboot but i'm just going to leave it on default now and then next you know if you got a, a powerful device because i've got an odin 2 with a snapdragon 8 gen 2 cpu i will be going to 2x but if you have a weaker device just leave it on 1x and there's not much to do down there. 
Next, I'm going to go to System. And here you can select which button you want basically to be the Enter button. So I'm going to leave it on Cross. Then we're going to go to Emulator. And here, the only thing that I'm going to do is under Performance Overlay, I'm going to basically enable that. So we can see the FPS and uh, other information. So here, you know, if you tap on this arrow, you know, you've got minimum, low, medium, maximum, but I just want the, um, the FPS. So I'm just going to leave it on minimum. And then you get the uh, option of where you want it to display. We've got several options. I'm going to leave it on top left. So next we're going to go to uh, GUI. And uh, this is just my personal preference. I, I'm just going to disable, you know, the theme background changing all the time. And uh, once that is done, we can click on save. Then close. Then we're going to go to controls. And then overlay. Now, if you're using just the phone on its own, then obviously you would want the on-screen overlay. So we're going to go to modify game button overlay and here you know you can change everything to your liking if you're not happy with anything you can just reset the uh, gamepad now because i am using a uh, uh, android handheld i'm going to uncheck this and then close now if you go back to controls again we can change the uh, button layout as you can see here, but I'm just going to leave that alone for now. Okay, so now we need to basically install a game. So there's two ways to go about it. So we're going to go to a uh, file. You know, you can do the uh, package install or zip, but let me just show you the uh, package method. So I'm going to go to install package. And I've got a folder on my device called Vita with my games. So let's select uh, Dragon Ball Z. Now it's asking us to select a, a work.bin file. And here it is. And that's going to install. It shouldn't take too long. So that's how you install with the package method. Next, I'll show you how to install via the zip method. So with this method, you don't need to load a work.bin file. This is Street Fighter across Tekken. And the larger the games are, the longer it will take to install. So I'm just going to cut this short. Okay, that is done. Now, if you are curious where the uh, games are installed, I'll show you where they, where they are. So I'm just going to go to my home screen, just open a file browser. So I'm going to go to Android, data, then scroll down to org.vita3k, files, then vita, then ux0 app, and you can see the uh, game ID here. This is basically where they installed. Anyway, let's go back into the emulator. Now, if we long press here, we've got a few uh, options here. So compatibility, you can see that it says it is playable. Uh, custom config, you can give it basically uh, per game settings, which is good. You know, you can select uh, the resolution, custom drivers, etc. I'm going to click on close. Let's just go back into that again with the Street Fighter Cross Tekken. Create a shortcut. Uh, update history. Uh, information. And here you can see the title ID, game size, etc. And obviously if you wanted to uh, delete a game, just long press. And then select delete. And here you can select the application. If you do have a save game save game is gonna show up here as well anyway uh, let's just launch the game now we can just launch the game so just tap on it tap on the icon or if it says start 
and that's it the game will load up and you might see the uh, little uh, notification on the bottom showing you the shaders being compiled and you can see the FPS counter on the top left hand side. So here you can see how this game performs in the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 with 2x internal resolution. Very good. Anyway, that does it for this video. If you have found it useful, give it a thumbs up. If you are new here, then please do consider subscribing. I will have more videos coming up, so make sure you hit that bell icon so you get notified as soon as I release my videos. Thanks for watching, and I will catch up with you in the next video. Oof.